Hi, I wanted to give you seven tips to be able to get better results with your film processing. My first one is in handling the film when loading onto the reel. Be sure that you do not touch the emulsion of the film where the images of your film is going to be. The exposed film is very sensitive to the oils in your fingers and can absorb it and prevent developer or fixer from getting to those parts of the film, leaving fingerprints behind on the film itself. So when you're handling, only handle the very first of the film or the end of the film where you know you don't have any exposures on it or handling the sprocket side edge of the film and keep from handling that center portion where the images are actually located. My second tip is to be sure that you're using as low a temperature of a developer as recommended by the manufacturer. In most cases for black and white film processing, the manufacturer will recommend using 68 degrees Fahrenheit for doing the development. The reason for that is that it's going to give you the best grain structure for the amount of time of development on it there. If you use a higher temperature, you're going to end up with clumpier looking grain in the film and it's going to show in your final prints. My third tip is about agitation and making sure that you're getting good agitation of the developer around the film itself. Under agitation is going to lead to a more of a modeled appearance on the film because the older used developer will stay closer to the film and will prevent fresh developer from getting closer and finishing the development process completely. The agitation will help stir the chemistry and make sure you always have good fresh chemistry up against the film so you get even development. On the other hand, if you over agitate the film, you may find that you have streaks or darker edges around the ends of the film where the developer may be moving faster as it's going through the reel itself and it can cause some uneven development. You can even see kind of lines coming from where the sprocket holes of the film are located. So do not over agitate where you're doing like the cocktail shaker, just doing a standard agitation every 30 seconds doing a simple inversion of the tank a couple of times will be plenty for working with the developer. Number four kind of ties into number three, and it's having to do with consistency. Making sure that you're really being consistent in how you're timing your development, consistent in the development temperature, and also in your agitation. The more you're consistent with these three steps, you will be getting better results and more consistent results as well. Tip number five has to do with making sure your film is permanent in the fixer. So sometimes if your fixer gets a little used or is weak, it will sometimes leave the film looking a little milky, which means that there are still some uh, different chemicals left on the film that may be sensitive to light. So if you see this milkiness, be sure to go back and refix the film again to make sure it's nice and clear all the way through on the film. Tip number six is to be sure that you wash the film completely to make sure that all the chemicals are free from the emulsion so that that film will last as long as possible. Black and white film can last two, three, four hundred years in good storage conditions. Uh, if you do not fix the film completely or wash the chemistry away, it could cause staining or even degrading of the image itself. So be sure that you're washing it completely so that all those chemicals are washed away. Tip number seven, my final tip, is to be sure that you're using distilled water when you use for your last bath, the photo flow or the wetting agent. The wetting agent is the last thing that's gonna contact your film and we definitely don't want any of the chemicals or minerals that are in our city water left onto our film that we have to either clean off or work with on our negatives. So be sure that you're using distilled water to get the best results. So those are my seven tips to help you be able to get the best results from film processing for black and white film.